an employment contract um, can be a very long document, also can be a short document. Uh, but the key matters that need to be in included in the employment contract is firstly an identification of the parties who are involved in the employment contract. So you would say this is the employer, this is the employee. In addition, you're required by law to put in place, uh, to include um, certain details of the employee, including their gender, um, their date of birth, and their identification number. Over and above that, the employment contract is required by law to also have a job description where the employee is informed um, of the duties that they will be attending to. And this really helps in terms of even managing performance because in that way you're able to define that this was so-and-so's responsibility um, and therefore if there is any action to be taken, so-and-so is the one who is required uh, to do that. The employment contract should also detail the hours and days of work. Um, under Kenyan law there are certain limitations uh, in terms of the number of hours that somebody can work. Um, should be around 52 hours as a maximum. So how do you spread those 52 hours? Is it um, um, working uh, four days a week, um, five days a week, six days a week, making sure that those are clearly defined. The employment contract should also detail matters to do with remuneration and other benefits that the employee would have. So matters to do with salary should be clearly set out. Um, it should very clearly say whether this is gross or net salary. It should also provide for matters such as the deductions that are authorized, such as fares you earn, NHIF and NSSF. Further to that, the employment contract should also specify the grounds uh, for disciplinary measures to be taken against employees. Now, the um, Employment Act provides for what would be grounds for summary dismissal. Um, and these are matters to do where, with um, um, employee having been involved in criminal um, activities or having neglected their responsibilities or having, having failed to um, obey a lawful order from an employer. But there are other grounds where um, one would would want to stipulate that um, these are grounds for disciplinary action. Now disciplinary action doesn't mean dismissal and the employment contract can also stipulate that maybe somebody could get a warning letter and perhaps could get um, a, 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 a suspension or in worst case scenario could actually be terminated from the employment of the employer. So these are some of the key things that need to go into an employment contract but as I have mentioned there are various other things that might um, be included depending on the level uh, of the person being employed.